Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on attack uh, input for these or uh, light attacks uh, in this uh, action RPG system based on gameplay ability systems uh, series that I am working on. So here now I am testing with the client. So now the client in the top left equip the sword. So you can see that from other players perspective as well and when i press left mouse you can see it's doing an attack so at the moment it doesn't do any damage or anything i only working i'm only working on the attack part so now let's test from the server's perspective equip and attack so here if i continuously press left mouse it doesn't do the attacks it only does another do another attack after finishing the first attack so we are using a gameplay tags to determine whether there is a sword in the hand only if there is a sword in the hand we can do the attack and after that if we are already doing an attack it doesn't do another attack until it is finished for that also we are using blocking tags with gameplay tags so yeah let's see how to do each of those things today and these are the two things we are going to work on here ga light attack sword and ge attack this gameplay ability and this gameplay effect these are the things that we are going to work on today and uh, before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel once you become a member in the Patreon page, to the date there are 1,800 videos for each video. Project file is accessible. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. Let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so now we have implemented picking up swords and we can equip them and we can unequip them or put it back. So the next step is doing an attack. So for the attacks, it's gonna be another ability. So let's create an ability for that. Gameplay ability blueprint. I'll choose gameplay ability. I'll call it GA light attack S. I'll call it sword or maybe, yeah, so yeah, that's fine. The reason is because later on we will have different types of weapons like great swords and katanas, spears or whatever. So therefore I need to make this specifically for a sword. So maybe we can create child uh, gameplay abilities and repurpose them to do attacks in different types of weapons. Okay, now here, let's go to the defaults and here first ability tags. So I'll add input dot light tag. So default gameplay tags, add new tag. And I'm gonna mark this as input light attack as the ability tag. So we can use this tag to activate and also in order to activate this I need to have the sword already equipped otherwise this should not be activated so right now how do I play the montage so first I have imported an animation here yeah, this animation this is from Ramster's Sword and Shield animation pack. So they have sponsored for this uh, tutorial series. So I am going to use this animation and create a montage. I leave the link in description below so you can get the animation pack from Marketplace. Okay, so I'll leave it in the default group for now. I just need to have the animation montage I am not worried about anything else for now okay now let me 
open the character blueprint because here we implemented this play montage replicator this function so if I use this function to play the animation it would be uh, it would work it would be already replicated so I don't have to worry about that but this is a custom event so it is not accessible from here here I can get our uh, actor but here I can't access that function do I have interfaces yeah but plain montages is not specific for the weapon wielder so therefore I'll add a new animation a new blueprint interface PPI I'll say character and here I'll add play montage replicate okay now um, we need all these three parameters here so the reason that I am implementing this through a montage into uh, animation through a blueprint interface is so that I can directly call it from here okay what are the parameters we need and in montage play rate and start section name so montage play rate should be a float or float and start section should be a name by now go back to the character class settings and add vpi character now here you get an error because i have the same name as this function here so i'm gonna replace this function oh wait this is not the function that i need to replace i need to replace this one I have used it here here now play montage replicated oh sorry like this okay can I copy this no just need to recheck this point 0.5 is coming from uh, up okay here I think uh, unequip equip unequip all right and like this now before I proceed let me check if the equip unequip part works yeah it does great so the custom event is successfully replaced with this interface event now I can use that interface play uh, montage replicated right now here I'm gonna play this sword and shield attack in place slash this montage at the moment I just need to play the animation I don't want to think about how to do the damage or anything so this is it and end ability maybe we should have a delay 25 seconds then end ability okay now where should we give this ability I'm thinking when I equip the sword I should give this ability to character so get ability system component and then 
skill ability ga light attack sword right now uh, I need an input I don't think I have a light attack input so here input actions let's add a new input I a light attack so I'm gonna have a heavy attack as well okay now let's assign this to our map in context i a right attack okay and the key is left mouse button right now in the character i a light attack so we can now get the ability system and activate ability by tag so let's promote this to a well not necessary actually let's just make it gameplay tag container and input light attack right now i should be able to perform an attack let's see equip the sword Wait, why isn't it doing the attack? Let me connect to this. Hmm. Oh, right. Here the playlist is zero for some reason. Can I define the default value here? Yeah. It should be one. Okay. Right. Now I can do the attack. Okay. Uh, now I want to prevent this. So here, if I equip the sword and if I keep pressing uh, left mouse button, you see this happens. So if I once start doing an attack, it shouldn't start another attack until that attack is over. So let's create a gameplay effect for that. Let's call it GE attack. Now let's add uh, target and uh, target tags gameplay effect component and here uh, I'll make this duration policy to has duration and period well let's say one second I haven't actually used this so trying this for the first time okay so added tags uh, now I need some tag to say that I am currently performing an attack so under weapons yeah let's add weapons light attack okay so this tag will be granted so that uh, we have a way to determine we are already performing an attack and we can block add a block tag for this GA light attack with this if we are already performing an attack this should be this tag should be there so we can block doing another attack on top of it now here we can this apply gameplay effect to target gameplay effect is GE attack. Ah, sorry, this is not the one. I should use apply gameplay effect to owner and GE attack, and also here 
this is not the duration duration is this float scalable float magnitude I'll make it one second now here if I equip the sword and I can do an attack I can do another attack but if I press it continuously it doesn't I can only do an attack after one second so yeah okay that's the way I wanted it all right so I think that's enough for today let's quickly check how this looks in a multiplayer setting also here is the client let's oh wait i didn't select server big one is the server little one is the client okay press press one equip see and you can see attacking from both player server and client let's test the server also let's go here equip perform an attack all right great so it's working and i'm gonna stop this episode right here so next time let's work on uh well we can do attacks but it's still not doing any damage or we don't see any reaction from other players who receive the attack so let's work on those things in upcoming episodes and thanks for watching as always, updated project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.